Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Jason's Hammer. I'm back with another video today. I'm doing a little bit of a tutorial and I'm going to do a couple of these because people are wondering how I do some of my um, GFX I do for channel art and stuff. Uh, and a lot of people have asked me to make a tutorial on how I do these and they're really easy once you get the hang of it. It's, it takes you five minutes, not even, to make them, to make like a text. And what I'm talking about is this. So to make something to look like this, takes this took me in cinema 40 just the way it is took me two minutes to make it they're easy and um all you need is cinema 40 obviously and these two pro plugins griebler and therazi now first we're going to start off with and by the way i have lights in here and you can just download light rooms to make these soft boxes everywhere like three soft boxes so first we're going to go MoGraph, mo text so as, as you see, we have uh, our text here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a tutorial since this is a tutorial. Tutorial. I'm also going to go into my fonts and I'm going to use BBass. Uh, I use this for a lot of them because BBass is... I, I just like the way it looks when um, when it's all said and done. So I use BBass. And I'll set the depth to 40. And you want to do this because you want a kind of a thicker look to it. And you can mess around with this. So you don't have to follow this exactly. It can be anywhere you want it. Uh, any depth you want it to be. Um, we're going to go to caps. And then set this to fillet cap. Set this to fillet cap. And I'm going to set this to 2. So it's not. No. Uh, let's make that 3. Not 20. 30. <laughs> okay. There we go. So now it's like this. And I'm just going to. I'm just going to like do a quick render thing. Just to show you what that looks like. Then what we're going to do. So we're going to go in here and we're going to click plugins, Throzzy, and then this Throzzy. Then I'm, I do anywhere from 15 to 30. You can do whatever number you want. Let's just do 30. And as you can see, it's starting to break everything down into tiny little bits. So let's wait till that's done. So it, it, it takes like two seconds. And done. Okay. X out of this. Then I go to MoGraph, Effector random you click the first the top one and the bottom one and then you drag it to the here all right and then you just go like this and you select this now it's all crazy and stuff so you go to random and you can uh, minimize this just to clean it up your strength and i put the strength from anywhere from 9 to 11 or like 8 8 or 9 to 11 i'm gonna put this on on eight i'm gonna buy since this is kind of like i don't know it's like getting chopped in half but this is what it, that looks like i'm just showing you what this looks like you see it's, it's already tar it's starting to take effect you know also what you can do is you can set so let's say i didn't, I didn't like the t how that one looked so i can um where is it what I can do is, I can, um, oh, that's not in here. This is, uh, that's not in here. Never mind. Um, I, I said I was going to fix it because you see how this is kind of like chopped in half. That It doesn't really matter how it is. But that, anyway, you click this, random, then you go to plugins, Griebler, then Griebler again. Link in the description, by the way, to everything I'm talking about. Just, just to make sure that you guys know. And then put that under there. And as you can see, it does this. Now this effect, it looks cool. It, it kind of it kind of takes a while. It looks cool, but this is not what we're looking for. There's too many, as you can see, there's too many little greebles, which they're called, the little like sticking out things. You can keep it like this if you want. I don't like keeping it like this because I don't like, it, it looks a little bit too messy. I, I want to clean it up so it looks like this more and more clean doesn't have all these little greebles which they're called i don't know why they're called greebles so go to basic uh i mean sorry go to stock greebles and then generate greebles to all so so now all like those little things are off and then nernies i turn nernies off i don't know what they do i don't know really what the nernies are 
if I just do that. Now, as you can see, there's a seed for all of these. So you can change the seed to whatever you want and it'll change like the, the Greeble stuff. Um, and so, yeah, you can do that whenever you want. Then I'll put the height and the max height to zero. So then that's what it does. And now we're pretty much done. You can mess with this, the bevel, turn the bevel, bevel up a little bit. I turn it, you know, 35 is what I do it to sometimes. And then there you have it. That's, that's literally it. You can add like, I see the reason why this is green is because I can texture it. So yeah, that's pretty much it to get this kind of effect on text. And I'm just going to let it load all the way just to show you what it, it will look like. And these settings you don't have to use like the zero zero you should just to get it to be clean like that. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. You know, I'm going to turn the bevel down. I'm going to turn it maybe to 15 because I don't know. I don't like the way it looks. And then there we go. That's how to use this. And let's say I want to put maybe uh, a red. Let's put the red in here. There we go. Now it's red. Or is it red? I don't know. Can't. Yeah. Okay. It's red. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I was like, why is it not red? So yeah. And then, and that's pretty much it guys. Um, it does take a while, a little bit more, uh, more time to render out because of the Greeble, the Greebler kind of lags a little bit. It makes it, it makes your stuff lag a, a tiny bit. So then now, now you're thinking, okay, I want to render this out. So go to render settings, uh, make sure the format's PNG and you, and most of the time you don't want the black background and this is how to get rid of that back background. So output, I put it at 720p. So the resolution. Um, I didn't, I didn't mess with any of these, uh, the save, you put that as PNG and I'm going to save this to my Photoshop stuff and I'm going to do this as, uh, tutorial save. So that's going to be saved there. Um, I didn't mess with any of this stuff. Oh, make sure anti-aliasing is at best. And this is one to one. Um, I, sometimes you can do two to two, but I, I'll just keep it as one to one. No, this time I'm putting two to do. That's what most people do. Um, options. I didn't change any of this um, for when it came with it, so I, I can't really say anything. Okay, so down here you click effect, and then go to global illumination and turn that on. And then don't mess with any. I didn't mess with any of these, but if you want, if yours is different, just just look at this and then pause the video or something and and make sure everything's the same because I didn't change any of this. So yeah, then the ambient occlusion, um, it's also in effects, uh, ambient occlusion somewhere over here, but I think it's cause I put it here. It's not there. Um, apply project, you know, and then make sure everything here is the same. I can't remember how I did this. I did this a while ago. I set this all up. So just make sure everything here is the same. The lens effects I put in and then the object glow I put in, that's just my preference. Um, yeah, so that's it for render settings and then just click render and then, and just look at that renderness. I'm going to be right back with it completely rendered. Okay, guys, we are back and it's completely rendered out. So this is what it looks like rendered out. And that, and, and then as you can see, I'm going to just minimize this and then go into my folder here. open this up and as you can see it, there is no black backgrounds it's, it's like transparent so you can put this into Photoshop and edit it the way you want um, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial guys I hope this helped with how to create a tech uh, a text like this if you would like more tutorials on C4D comment below I'll do more about like you know how to do different styles of this. Like there's a million things you can do with uh, Greebler and, and Thrawzy. This is just one thing you can do. Yeah, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.